Hey, what's up tennis fans? I'm James Watterson and today Tennis Now will showcase the six young players to watch for in 2012. Now keep in mind that this list is in no way comprehensive, so if we miss anyone at all, make sure to tell us who you think belongs and why in the comments below. And starting with the women, number three is Great Britain's Laura Robson. Currently ranked within the top 140, the 17-year-old lefties impressed at Wimbledon when she gave Maria Sharapova all she could handle in the second round. Robson started the year ranked 206, and since then she's won several matches against players ranked within the top 60. She's already 5'11", and she excels at taking the ball early and hitting with authority, especially off of her forehand. The youngster has plenty of talent, and she'll only get better as she gets older. Number 2, Christina McHale. This 19-year-old American made headlines during the U.S. Open Series when she beat world number one Caroline Wozniacki in Cincinnati and Svetlana Kuznetsova in New Haven. She followed that up with a three-set win against Marion Bartoli at the U.S. Open, proving that her earlier success was no fluke. Her results from this year have taken her to within the top 50, which means she is the second-ranked American behind Serena Williams. Mikhail is an excellent mover and she's got a powerful forehand, two qualities that will certainly help her continue her ascent up the rankings in 2012. And at number one for the women, Polona Hersog. Hersog, a 20-year-old from Slovenia, won her first WTA Tour title in Bestad earlier this year. She's also beaten Andrea Pekovic, Flavia Panetta, and Nadia Petrova, and she reached the final of the WTA Premier Tournament in Rome. At six feet tall, Hersog serves well, has a good forehand, and she can mix all of that up with the occasional drop shot from the baseline. She's beaten some of the best this year, and there's no reason to think she can't improve on her results from this year to next year. And now for the men. Number three is Ricardus Barrancas. Barrancas has been known as one of the most talented young players on tour, and at 21 years old, he's due for a surge in the rankings. The Lithuanian, who has been a frequent practice partner for Roger Federer during the off-season, reached at least the semifinals in five challenger tournaments near the end of the year, with his biggest victory coming against Sergei Stakovsky in Bratislava. Barrancas has a great return and great versatility in his game, which will serve him well going forward. At number two, we have Grigor Dimitrov. Now, for years, the 20-year-old Bulgarian has been compared to Roger Federer because of his smooth one-handed backhand, tremendous forehand, and incredible variety in his game. Earlier this year, Dimitrov reached a career high of number 52, but he's had bad luck in who he's had to play early on in the majors. For example, he came up short in a compelling match against Joe Wilfried Sanga in the second round of Wimbledon, and he had to take on Guillaume Monfils in the first round of the U.S. Open. Still, he's reached at least the quarterfinals of four ATP Tour events, and he beat five players within the top 40. Maybe he won't totally emulate Federer's career, but he certainly has the talent to make a big impact next year. And at number one, Cedric Marcel Steve. The 21-year-old German started the year ranked 404 and has since seen a meteoric rise in the rankings. He began by winning two futures and playing his way through qualifying to reach the final in a challenger in Kyoto, and he followed that up with semifinal appearances in two more challengers in China. He saw his first major breakthrough when he beat Nikolai Davidenko, a former top 10 player, and French Open quarterfinalist Fabio Fognini in Stuttgart. He followed that up with another one against Davidenko and former French Open champion Juan Carlos Ferrero in Hamburg. Although he never replicated his results in the ATP World Tour level for the rest of the year, he picked up more titles on the Challenger circuit in Bangkok and Shanghai. He ended the season also by winning the ATP Challenger Tour Finals in Sao Paulo, Brazil, which took him up to a career high of number 81. The German is a lefty who moves well and is very solid from the baseline. His game actually resembles that of David Nalbandian's, which is really no surprise because Steve has said before that Nalbandian is his favorite player. Steve is young and he's shown he can beat the best, so watch out for him and the other five players we've listed here today to have a big impact on 2012. And that'll do it from us. Make sure to check us out at TennisNow.com to stay up to date on all that's going on in tennis. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see when we upload new content. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.